Hello everybody, this is Stephen Elson and this is MMA Latest News. There's only one fighter's name on everybody's lips this weekend. As usual, that's Conor McGregor. After announcing his retirement, then renouncing his retirement, Conor McGregor caused absolute chaos. And the reason why he caused everyone's chaos, because he didn't want to do a press conference. Well, guess what? By not going to the press conference, he created more hype than a press conference ever has in the history of the UFC. But I'm not here to talk about that today. I'm here to talk about fights that are actually taking place this weekend that you need to be paying attention to. In at number one, John Jones fighting OSP as the main event of UFC 197 at MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Across the octagon from John Jones is Ovin St. Preux. Now this guy's considered a massive underdog, but he's no slouch. 12 first round finishes in his history tells us that OSP's gonna be bringing the heat and looking to upset the cards against John Jones, who's looking to cement himself into UFC 200 or possibly UFC's New York card in November. The second fight that you need to be looking out for, Henry Cejudo against the Mighty Mouse Demetrius Johnson, the other guy thought of as the pound for pound greatest in the world. The 125 pound division colliding with these two greats. Olympic gold medalist Henry Cejudo is going to bring the grind to Demetrius Johnson but can DJ's light footwork and excellent technical skills keep him at bay and get an early stoppage? For me, I think that's how it's going to go down. I think Cejudo's going to come in with his head held high. I think he's going to get caught and I think DJ's going to finish it with ground and pound in the first three rounds. Number three, the third fight that you guys need to be checking out this weekend, Edson Barbosa against Anthony Showtime Pettis. Taekwondo against Mai Tai. Leg kicks against head kicks. Who's going to prevail? Well, I actually think it's going to be Showtime Pettis. Barbosa has not looked great in recent contests, and I would expect Anthony Pettis to get himself back in title contention with an early stoppage in this one. I'm looking for a second round knockout with Anthony Pettis' name all over it. And the fourth and final fight that you guys need to be watching this weekend is Benson Henderson against Korsakoff at Bellator 153 in the welterweight division. Benson Henderson is going for his third title after being WEC champion, UFC champion. He's now going for the Bellator champion, the first fighter in history to have all three of those belts. This fight's getting absolutely no hype. If this was in the UFC, you would be seeing this plastered all over the place. Good luck to Benson out there tonight. I think he's going to take it. I think he's going to take it fairly early as well. I'm looking for a second, maybe third round stoppage for Benson by TKO, ground and pound. I'm looking for him to make history by becoming the first person to hold titles in all of those organization so good luck to Benson that fight's about to kick off very soon so get yourself over there now Bellator 153 and the others on UFC 197 that's the fights to watch out for this weekend make sure you like subscribe comment any fights that you think everyone should be tuning in for this weekend stick it in the comments below hit that like button hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon laters